French President Emmanuel Macron announced that his state will transfer an undisclosed number of Mirage 2000 fighter jets to Ukraine, as well as train pilots to fly these aircraft. According to Forbes, the deal on Mirage aircraft has been prepared for many months. According to Macron, Ukraine will receive Mirage 2000 to 5 fighters, which are optimized for air combat, and not the old Mirage 2000C fighters or Mirage 2000D air-to-ground attack aircraft. All variants have the same basic shape and characteristics, a tailless delta wing, a single engine, a multi-mode radar on the nose and supersonic speed. The choice of the variant makes sense. The French Air Force has retired the last few vintage Mirage 2000C aircraft from the 1980s in 2022. Last year, a French official said only 13 Mirage 2000CS still had little potential. The French Mirage 2000 to 5 fighters, out of 37 Dassault 5s built for the French Air Force in the 1990s, that have survived until this time, must be taken out of service by 2029. But French Defense Minister Sebastien Lecornu said their replacements, the new Dassault Rafales, could arrive earlier. There is no reason why France could not provide the Ukrainian Air Force with several dozen Mirage 2000 to 5 aircraft. This number would be enough to replace the existing Ukrainian fighter brigade or form a new brigade. The Ukrainian Air Force entered the war in February 2022, armed with about 125 combat aircraft, including Su-24 and Su-25 attack aircraft and Su-27 and MiG-29 fighters. During 28 months of fierce fighting, the Ukrainians lost about 80 aircraft, but replaced most of them with aircraft donated by Macedonia, Poland and Slovakia, as well as with older aircraft they pulled out of long-term storage and restored to airworthy condition, the story says. New reinforcements are on the way. Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway have pledged dozens of Lockheed Martin F-16s, the first of which should arrive in a few weeks, around the same time the first group of Ukrainian pilots. Complete training in the US, Denmark and Romania. France or another country operating the Mirage 2000, such as Greece, will have to train Ukrainian crews on the Delta Wing aircraft. This may take some time, perhaps a year or more. But unless there is a shock Russian victory or a definite negotiated end to the war, the Mirage 2000 must eventually fly into battle over several hundred kilometers of front line in Ukraine. The advantages of this type of aircraft are well known. French Air Force Colonel and Labadee explained in an interview with Combat Aircraft that the Dash 5 is a fairly old aircraft, but it is also specialized. This is an aircraft designed exclusively for air defense, and its pilots specialize in this, she said. If the Mirage 2000 were available to Ukraine today, it is clear that the military would fly sorties against the Russian Air Force's Sukhoi fighter bombers, which mercilessly bomb Ukrainian troops and civilians with thousands of guided bombs every month. The idea that Moscow has some kind of plan to attack NATO is a stupid attempt to maintain the West's global hegemony by fear, Russian President Vladimir Putin has said. Putin was asked about NATO's preparations to defend from a Russian invasion at the meeting with the heads of the world's major news agencies on Wednesday, on the sidelines of the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. Look, someone has imagined that Russia wants to attack NATO. Have you gone completely insane? Are you as thick as this table? Who came up with this nonsense? Putin said. Why is this being done, really? To maintain their own position of greatness, that's why. There's nothing to these scary stories, intended for the townsfolk in Germany and France and elsewhere in Europe, Putin explained. In Ukraine, we're just protecting ourselves. Don't make up things and then form opinions about Russia on the basis of them, he added. You only hurt yourselves this way. During the session, which lasted more than three hours, Putin repeatedly addressed the root causes of Russia's intervention in Ukraine, from the 2014 US-backed coup to the atrocities of the Kiev government in the Donbass and the failed Minsk peace process that Western leaders have admitted to being a sham. 
The Russian president argued that the U.S. hasn't poured billions of dollars in cash, weapons, ammunition and equipment into Ukraine because it loves Ukrainians, but because of the belief that this will further American greatness and global leadership. Не надо ничего придумывать и на, этой, на, на этих придумках значит, формировать мнение о России. Не надо формировать образ врага из России. Вы сами себе только вредите этому, этим, понимаете? Вот придумывали, что Россия хочет напасть на НАТО. Вы сбрендили совсем, что ли? Тупые вообще, как этот стол? Кто это придумал? Это чушь, понимаете? Бред собачий. Но это, был бы, это было бы бредом, да? если бы не было задумки для того, чтобы одурачивать свое собственное население. Говорить, а, караул, скоро Россия на нас нападет, и мы должны срочно вооружаться, срочно значит, направлять вооружение значит, на Украину. А на самом деле для чего это делать? Чтобы удержать свое собственное имперское положение и величие. Вот для чего это делается.